Good evening, folks. This is Deb Delapiana, and this is your... I think we're going to make this a chain reaction report. You know, this is the only time I'm going to address this. Um, this is another... This is another one of those let's get Anthony Fauci kind of things, okay? But I found the premise of this just so ludicrous that I had to, you know, make a video about it just so I could set the record straight. Now, apparently yesterday after this story broke, uh, the National Institutes of Health got hundreds of scathing, threatening phone calls about... Um, a study that has been funded by Anthony Fauci's group, the National uh, Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, uh, supposedly funded this study where they, they euthanize beagle puppies, they take out their debarking, they debark them, they take out their vocal cords, and then they leave them to be eaten by flies. This is the way it was described, okay? So, before we get into the misinformation spin from the right, I want to talk to you just for a few minutes about the group that started all this, the White Coat Waste Project. I'm going to suggest to you that the White Coat Waste Project is a waste of space, okay? And I want to talk to you about how they take things out of context, how they have a very Anthony Fauci, anti-Anthony Fauci bias. Um, the man who started the White Coat Waste Project is none other than a gentleman named Anthony Bellotti, who was um, a rising star in the American Association of Political Consultants group. Um, he actually also put together the um, Defund Plant Parenthood organization uh, that was, uh, you know, a digital campaign that raised over $2 million from thousands of donors for pro-life organizations, okay? So he is a right-wing political operative who has started this ridiculous group about how promoting the notion that, you know, using animals in medical research is no longer necessary. This is a quote directly from the White Coat Waste Project. With little accountability or transparency, animal experimenters hop on the gravy train and often ride it for decades at great expense to taxpayers without producing anything of value, draining resources from meaningful research and public health programs. End quote. This could easily have been a shut the fuck up too. The fact of the matter is, animals have been essential to medical and scientific advances uh, for many, many years. Um, it is a highly regulated industry. There is legislation that protects the animals. There are standards that the facilities must live up to. And there is a great deal of oversight given to this. That's number one. To say that we don't need animal testing is absurd, okay? We have used animal testing um, for the development of vaccines. Had we not had animal testing for uh, COVID-19, we could not have had a vaccine as quickly as we did. In fact, all of the mRNA research that went into that technology itself which had already been done prior to COVID hitting, all of that was done with animal uh, subjects. Um, so let's take a look at the reality. Vaccinations among Americans born in the last 20 years 
will prevent 322 million American illnesses and will save 1.4 trillion in direct and indirect costs over these people's lifetimes. Okay? Without animal testing, we would not have been able to develop the drugs we did for AIDS, which actually turned AIDS from a 100% kill machine into a chronic disease where people have lived now well into their 60s, 70s, and 80s with AIDS. Um, so let's talk about some other areas. Um, Cancer survival rates, because we've used mice um, a lot in this research, cancer survival rates have continued to rise um, with the use of animal models. Uh, again, the development of retrovirus is heavily dependent on animal, uh, animal studies. And... Um, Animal research was responsible for the development of asthma inhalers. Uh, asthma still kills around 2,000 people in the UK every year. Uh, it does also continue to kill people in the United States. Uh, the development of tamoxifen, which is a drug uh, to treat breast cancer, uh, led to a 30% fall in breast cancer rates in the 1990s, animal models were used to develop tamoxifen. Uh, people suffering from type 1 diabetes rely on insulin. And that was developed through experiments in rabbits and dogs. So animals are used when other models cannot be used to research medicines, and the effect the medicines have on the illnesses that they are trying to treat. When animals are not necessary, they are not used. So let's talk about this. Um, Anthony Fauci's trying to kill my puppy thing. Okay. Now. The White Coat Waste Project requested documents under the Freedom of Information Act. And they got them. And somehow, miraculously, either because they really don't know what they're doing, or Maliciously, they basically took two studies and kind of just rolled them into one. Now, I'm not going to say they did that on purpose, but I don't know what's worse. A taxpayer organization that is supposed to be watching for waste that really doesn't know what the fuck it's looking at, or a right-wing operation set out there to continually discredit Anthony Fauci. We know this has been going on since the beginning of COVID. It started with the Trump administration, period, plain and simple. Either way, as far as I'm concerned, the White Coat Waste Project is a right-wing misinformation machine. All right? So what they essentially did was attribute a study to Anthony Fauci's National Institutes of um, Allergy and Infectious Diseases, which actually wasn't funded by them. And this, by the way, was indeed the study involving dogs, beagles, by the way, called a horror experiment. People were writing hashtag arrest Fauci. Nothing illegal was done here. We have been using animal models forever, okay? So, 
according to what came out and what was picked up, by the way, by the right wing paper, and I'm going to mention it, it's um, the 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 um, the Gateway pundit, as usual, um, the Sun, which is Rupert Murdoch's newspaper, and uh, the Daily Mail, all rags, all of them. So, according to the story. This was particularly written up in the Sun uh, that they provided a grant to a lab in Tunisia to torture and kill dozens of beagle puppies for twisted scientific experiments. So let's talk about the actual truth of the matter. The study in Tunisia was erroneously attributed to Naya, and I have the document here, I will put this in, I mean, I don't know if you really want to look at any of this stuff, and I really don't care, because here I am, I'm setting the record straight for you, uh, I'm telling you there's tons of information on animal testing that you can access, all you need to do is go to the NIH website, okay, none of this is fucking made, made secret, none of it, um, but you will forgive, of course, Anthony Fauci, if he doesn't remember every goddamn project he funds since they have 10,000 projects funded around the world, okay? This is how global development of, of uh, you know, medicines happens, okay? So that we can fight things like pandemics. So it turns out that there was indeed a study done on beagle puppies, okay? Um, actually, let me take that back. They were done on beagles, but the beagles were not puppies, okay? They weren't euthanized, okay? And they weren't debarked, not in the flea one, okay? And they weren't, quote, trapped so flies could eat them alive. The actual fact of this study, and again, I have the documentation here. You can read it yourself. You can continue to let people like the White Coast Waste Project waste your time by reading and promoting bullshit that is just so totally off the fucking edge that it's not funny. The dogs were given an experimental vaccine and allowed to roam. Now, what they were studying is a disease where the main reservoir happens to be dogs, the main host happens to be dogs, and the main spreader of the disease happens to be flies. So the dogs were allowed to roam, and they are studying how to minimize this illness in Tunisia since it affects mostly children, and has a 6% mortality rate in Tunisia. So Tunisia has taken it upon themselves to try to develop medication that might prevent this illness. This was not funded by Anthony Fauci's group. They, by the way, did fund another study which wasn't done in Tunisia, and it didn't involve flies. Nyad funded researchers did indeed perform cordectomies on 44 beagle puppies. These were the, this was a study where puppies were used. And they euthanized them after the study. And this is why. What they were studying was the next level the next class of HIV and AIDS drugs. In order to develop these drugs, the FDA requires researchers to experiment on non-rodent mammals for certain classes of these drugs. Dogs are specifically recommended. It is important to use young dogs, six to eight months old, in order to assess whether the drugs retard growth. It is also mandatory, as spelled out in this research, that the dogs be euthanized so that researchers can search for damage to organ systems. 
These are things they can't just start pumping into human beings. This is where animal models and animal testing is essential. Do we like it? You know what? I'm sure the people conducting these studies don't like it any more than anyone else does because these are like Snoopy. I get it. But there is nothing illegal about it and there is nothing hideous about it. These aren't twisted scientific experiments. These are experiments that can't be done any other way. It is recommended by the Association for Assessment and Accreditation of Laboratory Animal Care, that is an oversight group, by the way, that the dogs undergo cordectomies so it reduces their anxiety in the dogs and the hearing loss in humans from the incessant barking. Beagles are chosen because of their uniform size. So let's get this straight. There was a Tunisia study, not funded by NIAID, where dogs were given an experimental vaccine and allowed to roam free. And yes, they were allowed to be bitten by flies because that's who's carrying the disease they're studying. The study that was indeed funded by the National Association of Allergy of Infectious Diseases, the Anthony Fauci Group, were the 44 beagles that were used to study the next level of AIDS medications. The next level that will require humans to take less of these drugs. Okay? Improving their chances of survival. This is how science works. Whether you like it or not, this is how science works. This is how science has always worked. Using animals, no matter what PETA tells you, is nothing new. Okay? You know, what happened to going after all the women on the red carpet that are wearing fucking furs? Why don't we go after them? Okay? Because they're still doing it. That's a total ridiculous use of animals in my opinion that is a self-serving use of animals maybe we should just go back to 1776 when we had no medications you didn't have your viagra boys and you ladies don't have your birth control and nobody gets vaccinated we all go out and hug each other and we let it be survival of the fucking fittest because that's the way the right wing thinks. Let's do the natural immunity thing. You know what? There's something wrong with people. There really is. This obsession with Anthony Fauci, when we have so much going on here, is just incredible to me. And I swear to God, it's because the American people know that they can get all wrapped up and get on the rabbit hole and they never actually have to do anything but bitch and moan on social media because you think that makes you ungovernable. You think we're not ungovernable because we don't buy into every right-wing story that comes out. No, we don't. We actually look this shit up and we vet this shit. By the way, let's go back for a minute and talk about the White Coat Waste Project. They really don't care about um, where they get their information, right? This is what we do know about them, okay? Um, they use uh, what is called push poles, you know, so that they can just find out exactly what the American public is thinking. And they kind of couch it and spread it in a way that suggests to you where they want you to go with this. So, they don't care about the validity of their own research. 
<clears throat> let alone the validity of any real scientific research that's been done. And, and the thing is that um, they run these polls not with any kind of control, uh, but they run these polls on Facebook, right? And there are no caveats. There's like no controls. No one knows how old these people are to resp that are responding. Um, and they're not really valid uh, in the information that um, that they deliver. And the odd thing about it is Mr. Bellotti, who um, was a rising star in the American Association of Political Consultants, well, the AAPC itself frowns on push polls as not a very accurate source of information. Yet this is where the White Coat Waste Project gets all of their information. Why? Because they're a right-wing misinformation machine. And Anthony Bellotti is a political operative. He is not a man interested in accuracy, science, or anything having to do with data that is reliable. So I'm going to put in some information here. I'm going to put information on regulations around the world about animal testing. I'm going to put information there about all of the scientific and health advances that have been made because of the use of animals in research. I will also put in there all of the details you need to understand about the oversight of these facilities. I will also put information in there about how much money is spent every year on this. You will have it all at your fingertips. You don't need the White Coat Waste Project to request FOIA documents and then misrepresent the information for you in an article that gets picked up by the worst right-wing organizations you can imagine. The Gateway Pundit, anything Rupert Murdoch owns, and the Daily Mail. And by the way, to a lesser degree, disappointedly, The Hill. And no, it doesn't surprise me that the right-wing politicians are now writing that they want Anthony Fauci to come out and talk to them so they can discuss this nonsense. We have literally got an investigation going on now about the potential overthrow of this government you can't get anybody interested in that, but mention Anthony Fauci doing anything, brushing his teeth, scratching his ass, and everybody's up in arms. What the fuck is wrong with you people? Seriously. I, I really am getting to the point where, you know what, you're on your fucking own. I'm retirement age now. I got a few more years of this left in me. Once I decide to leave where I am right now and move on, to where I'm going to be spending the rest of my life, I'm done with all this. You're on your fucking own. Do what you want, okay? Because I don't give a shit. This is up to you. You either choose to believe every right-wing fucking bullshit that comes flying across your desk without looking, and you don't look. None of you do. None of you look shit up. You don't even know how to read. I swear to God, half you don't know how to read anymore. But you know what? You got it here now. All your detail on your puppy killing. Have a nice night.